This video will show you what conversation looks like versus a regular old email string. So what I have here is a single email conversation with the subject line new employees. It was started by me and the conversation uh, was taking place with Robert. There's five pieces of this conversation. So that means there was five emails sent back and forth, but they were all attached to this single uh, subject line new employees. When I click on this to open it, I can see that I started the conversation, uh, and then there's some mystery emails, and then Rob said something, and then I said something. If I click on these lines, I can see what those mystery emails are, and it puts my emails in a nice, neat stack, so you can see the evolution of a conversation. This is where I started, then Rob said something, then Nicole, then Rob, then Nicole had the final word. If I wanted to see what somebody said at any given point in the time of this conversation, you can see time over here by hovering over the date. So this was earlier, later, and later. So if I want to see what was said here, I can just click on it, take a peek, and then close it back up. If I wanted to grab the attachment that Rob sent me, I can go to the appropriate point in the conversation, click on that, and then I can download this spreadsheet to my computer or to Google Drive. And when I'm done, I can close it back up. If I wanted to see the old-fashioned email string where the current message is the one on top, uh, I can just click on these three dots, or sometimes I can just scroll depending on how the email was sent. If I click on these three dots, I can see that this was the fourth message, this was the third, this was the second, and this was the first message, the one that initiated the conversation. And I can close it back up by clicking on those three dots. So here with Conversation View in Google Mail, you can see the evolution of a conversation in chronological order, the order that makes more sense than looking at an email string where you see the latest one first and then you go back in time. That's it. Thank you.